Um, I don't know. There's just something about, and don't get me wrong, do not get me wrong, I want people to have a decent standard of living. There's something about the whole percentage conversation uh, that doesn't really sit well with me because if you're on the lower end of the scale and you get... I don't know, 5% or whatever, that's not a huge amount to you. No. Whereas if you're on 75 grand or whatever, hmm. your 5% is quite decent. So I would always like to be in a situation where those at the very lowest end of the spectrum in terms of pay, they are getting the biggest boost to their take-home pay. That's what I would really like to see. There's lots of conversations, people saying, oh, you know, this nurse is going to a food bank and that nurse is going to a food bank and all the rest of it. I'm not really sure about that. Well, that is happening. I mean, we are seeing happening? that. We are seeing nurses getting to a point where they are unable to afford to feed their families to heat but their homes. But what is the average wage of a nurse? It's not high. I mean, it's in the, the high 20s, I think, which, given the, the way that the costs have gone up, and again, it hasn't increased uh, more than 1% or 2% over the last 10 years, which means that they are significantly... It's been like a significant pay cut year on year. I'm going to say something, right? And some people will be quite angry at me for saying this and perhaps think it's controversial, but this food bank uh, sentence, I feel that this has become a sentence that gets trotted out in order to prick conscience and to almost weaponise a situation. I feel that... Um, I don't know, if I've got £50 disposable income at the end of my month and I've got to stretch it to absolutely everything and then all of a sudden I can get a portion of my food for free from over there, why wouldn't I? Because you have to qualify to go to a food bank. The food banks are almost, entirely done, through, almost entirely done through referral. Um, you have to be in hardship to be qualified to go to a food bank. It's not a case of rocking up and getting what's given to you. Yeah, um, just... And also... I. I mean, Michelle, I would love it if we didn't need to rely on food banks in this country. I'm disgusted that people have to go to food banks in this country. I think it's appalling that we live in a country where a country, in one of the richest countries in the world, and so many of our citizens and those citizens who are giving their time to work for our public services are having to use food banks. I agree with you. I'd love it if we didn't use food banks. But unfortunately, at the moment, that's where we're at. It's a terrible short-term step gap. What we need is a system that actually works for those nurses. Do you have anything to uh, come back on that point, Asa? Not precisely that point, but just knowing that this strikes issue is going to run and run because we've got the BMA voting for, with junior doctors. And so I, I think we'll be you know, like chewing it over and the government's going to have to really find an answer on the strikes. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I know that people will be really upset uh, and angry with me about the point that I'm making about food banks, but I do, uh, I just feel like that sentence, someone has to rely on a food bank, it has become this almost overused, weaponised statement. And don't get me wrong, I completely agree with you. I don't want anyone in this country to absolutely have to go to a food bank and literally that is the only way they can get food. They've cut their cloth, they've done everything possible and still they cannot afford food. That's not acceptable, particularly if someone is going to work, uh, particularly in some cases if someone is going to work full time. That's completely unacceptable, completely inappropriate. But I just worry and wonder uh, if that ever is abused.